You know, adding a new watch to your collection is exciting. However, getting a watch that has something that no other watch in your collection has is mind-blowing. Welcome back to the Board Hairspring, everyone. As usual, it's me, Ivan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the Venezianico Ultra Black and its Musso Black Painted Dial, which has the unique ability to absorb 99.4% of the light that hits it. The Venezianico Ultra Black is part of the Redentore collection. In fact, it features the same case design and dimensions, and I'll walk you through those in just a moment. The Ultra Black is priced at 500 euro, and due to the difficulties involved in manufacturing the dial, it's being sold in small batches of 2 to 300 pieces. As far as I know, guys, the next batch, which is the 4th, is coming next week on the 4th of May, so make sure you keep an eye on the Venezianico's website and Instagram for the latest updates. This is the third Venezianico to appear here on the channel, and just like the previous two, it comes in this simple but very nice box made of recycled paper. Inside of it you'll find the watch protected by some soft padding, and there's also the usual paperwork which includes the obligatory map of Venice and some of its most emblematic locations which Venezianico is inspired by. Finally, here's your warranty card and an invitation to the Venezianico owner's Facebook group. Now, let's get the dimensions out of the way. The Venezianico Ultra Black's case is 40mm, the lug to lug is 48 the thickness is 123 and finally, the lug width is 20mm. In my opinion, these dimensions are very well balanced and on this Italian black leather strap, I find this watch to be very wearable. Here you can see it on my 17 cm or 6.7 inches wrist. I dare say that this is by far the most elegant watch strap combo I've ever had on my wrist. This strap is just a perfect match as it makes you focus on the dial and the quality is also very good. It might feel a little bit stiff at first, but after an hour it becomes super comfortable. Alternatively, you can replace it with the Venezianico Canova bracelet, which is excellent. It has to be purchased separately, but I highly recommend it as it gives the watch a much sportier look for whenever you need it. Next, we need to talk about the build quality and the finishing. I'm happy to report that the Ultra Black is a well-made piece. The case is made of 316L steel and it combines high polishing with vertical brushing. On the top you'll find a piece of air coated sapphire crystal and if you turn the watch around you'll find the case back which is engraved and together with the dial it symbolizes the darkness of outer space. Finally on the right side of the case positioned at 3 o'clock is the crown. It's signed and although this watch doesn't feature a screwing crown it still manages to deliver a very respectable water resistance of 100 meters. Alright guys, it's time we have a word about the star of the show, which is the dial. Honestly, I'm just blown away by how such a simple looking dial can make a watch feel so special and unique. It's definitely something you need to see in person in order to be able to fully appreciate it, but since this won't be possible for many, I hope my footage will help you see how seductive it is. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I can hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. As mentioned at the beginning, this dial is painted with Musou Black, which is an acrylic paint developed by Kyoto Ori in Japan, and it characterizes with a light absorption of up to 99.4%, which makes it the blackest paint in the world. What this means is that the object that's painted with it looks extremely dark. In the case of the dial, once you bypass the crystal's reflections, it's like having a black hole in the middle of your wrist. It's really hard to explain, guys, so let me ask you this. How do you think I made the background of some parts of this video, including this one, look so black? Well, what I've placed on my desk is a piece of Musso black painted fabric, which I ordered from Kyoto Orient directly, and let me tell you this. I've got two large soft boxes with four bulbs each pointed right above it, and it's able to absorb all of the lights. The reason I'm telling you and showing you this is because the dial of the Venezianico Ultra Black does exactly the same when light hits it directly. 
If at an angle you obviously see some reflections from the crystal, but it's still really impressive and unique. I would like to do a little comparison, but unfortunately I don't have many black dye watches in my collection. My Dürer Black Bay looks literally grey next to the Venezianico. And then here is my black resin G-Shock with a negative display, and again when the light hits both watches directly, the difference in light absorption is just more than obvious. One more thing you should know about the Musso Black Paint is that it's not exactly affordable and it's very difficult to work with. On the Kyoto Orient sales website there is a list of precautions that needs to be taken and apparently the best application method is air brushing. So guys this is just another reason why I'm so impressed with what Venezianico is offering here. Now that I've explained to you why this is probably the most unique watch I have reviewed this year, it's time I mentioned the movement, which is of course the Seiko NH35, and I've got nothing new to say about it. It's a great performer, which has never ever given me any problems, and this one dial up is running just 4 seconds fast per day, with a beat error of 0.2 milliseconds, so I'm not complaining at all. Before I give you my final thoughts, let's see real quick how this Venezianico compares in terms of size next to some other watches. The most similarly sized watch in my collection is my Seiko Alpinist Sarp 017. The Ultra Black's case diameter is just half a millimeter bigger and it has a larger dial, but on the wrist, both wear about the same. Next, here's the Venezianico Nerede Tungsteno. This one is obviously larger in every single way. It has a case diameter of 42 millimeters and the longer lug to lug by a millimeter or so. In addition, its design also makes it look larger, since it's a dive watch. I reviewed this one some time ago, so feel free to check it out. It features a very scratch-resistant tungsten bezel insert, and that's why it looks so shiny. Finally, this is my wife's Redentore with a case diameter of 36 millimeters. The difference between these two is quite significant, my wife wanted to steal the Ultra Black from me, but luckily she can't pull it off, as it's a bit large for her wrist, so keep that in mind in case you're considering to get it for your wife or girlfriend. Alright guys, let me give you my final thoughts about this watch, although I don't think it's necessary. As you can tell, I absolutely love it. The only thing that I've seen some people subjectively complain about is that telling the time might be a little bit tricky. However, in my opinion, if you add more elements to the dial, such as minute markers, I honestly think you will ruin it. You just have to understand that the people who buy this watch don't buy it because it's very practical, but because it's a very well-made watch, which also happens to have one of the blackest dials in the world. This is the end of today's video, everyone. Please let me know what you think about this watch in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. Thank you for watching guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.